this jungle area called Hueso. Then I believed. Because the spiders are this big and the frogs are this big. Just everything is looks insane. The Congo is widely recognized as the ultimate haven for mysterious creatures that dwell among us. Covered by vast expanses of dense tropical forests which span half of its territory. This captivating haven conceals a world where mysteries lurk and provides a suitable environment where these creatures can easily go unnoticed, waiting to be unraveled. Join us as we show you the 15 most horrifying discoveries in the Congo that can scare anyone. Number 15. The Giant Snake In 1959, Colonel Remy van Leerde of the Belgian Air Force, stationed at the Kamina Air Base in Belgian-occupied Congo, had a strange encounter while flying over the forests of the Katanga region. Returning from an expedition on his helicopter, Colonel Van Leerder reported witnessing a colossal snake of unbelievable size. Van Leerde, as an experienced pilot, was very good at judging the size of things on the ground from the air. According to his description, the snake was nearly 15 meters long, with a triangular head half a meter wide and one meter long. With such dimensions, this creature is the largest snake ever documented. The serpent's upper body was covered in dark green and brown scales, while its underbelly was white, a complete contrast to its frightening appearance. Colonel Van Leerde, amazed by the sight, immediately directed his pilot to turn the helicopter around for another go-by. The serpent responded by raising its head to an incredible height, at least three meters, as if warning of a coming attack. Recognizing the inherent danger in such a situation, Colonel Van Leerde made the quick decision to retreat, directing the pilot to return to the base as soon as possible. Colonel, thankfully, was not one to let such an extraordinary encounter go undocumented. Using the resources at his disposal, he expertly used an onboard camera to capture images of the giant serpent, securing evidence of its existence. The true origin of this snake remains a mystery. According to researchers, it could be an extremely large African rock python, a previously unknown species of snake, or even a descendant of the ancient Eocene snake Gigantophis. Currently, the longest snake on record is the reticulated python, measuring around 9.9 .9 meters. If Colonel Van Leerde's estimate is correct, this massive Congo snake surpasses all known records, indicating the immense biodiversity and hidden wonders of the Congolese tropical forests. Number 14. The Vibranium Stone Locals in Monono, Congo's Tanganyika province, recently discovered a collection of strange-looking stones. However, their appearance is not the only mystery surrounding them. They exhibit an intriguing quality. They possess an electric charge. Soon after this discovery, people began filming and sharing videos of the extraordinary nature of their find, which quickly spread across the internet and gained viral popularity. When the stones are rubbed together, powerful sparks are produced similar to a welding process. In one video, a person successfully lights a light bulb with one of these unusual stones. All of these recently discovered stones have one thing in common. They are dark, almost black in color, with a glossy surface, and they are most likely made of an unknown mineral. Some comic book lovers believe these stones are related to the vibranium from Marvel Comics, which is famous for being used in Captain America's shield and the Black Panther's and Falcon's suits. On the other hand, scientists currently believe that the videos are fake because stones typically lack the ability to release the electrons required for charge storage and generation. Number 13. The Beely Apes Humans, according to Darwin's theory of evolution, evolved from monkeys through a gradual process of adaptation and change. At the heart of this evolutionary journey is a significant puzzle piece known as the missing link. This missing link is a transitional form that connects the gap between monkeys and humans, providing vital proof of our common ancestors. Chimpanzees are our closest relatives, with whom we share a significant amount of genetic similarity. DNA analysis reveals that humans and chimpanzees share approximately 98.8 of their DNA sequence. Chimpanzees typically stand around 150 centimeters tall, but an extraordinary discovery in northern Congo's Bili Forest led to a sensational discovery, where a new species of chimp, resembling hybrids of gorillas and chimps, was discovered. 
These enormous chimps, known as billy apes, outgrow the average height, reaching up to 180 centimeters. They are incredibly powerful and are capable of overpowering even lions. They do not coexist with gorillas, however, and have dietary preferences similar to chimps. The first encounter with the Bili apes happened in the Bili forest, when primate ecologist Shelley Williams was encountered by four enormous male primates. Rather than attacking, they cautiously examined her before retreating. Local residents have also noticed distinctive Bili ape behaviors, such as closely observing hunters and then withdrawing, as if recognizing them as kin. The scientific community is currently conducting extensive research to better understand these unique chimps, testing various hypotheses about their behavior. They could be extremely large individuals of the chimp species, hybrids of gorillas and chimps, or even an entirely new species of great apes. Number 12. Mahamba The Congolese people have a legend about a fearsome reptile that lurks in the swamps near Lake Lakawala. The creature is said to be 15 meters long, with colossal jaws that can easily crush a human. It hides in the marshes and waits for prey to come near. Once it has its target, it pounces and seizes its victim in its powerful jaws. The local people believe that this creature, the legendary Mahamba, is unlike any other animal they have ever seen. They say that it digs long tunnels in the earth, leading to caverns where it sleeps. One of the most famous cryptozoologists to study the Mahamba was Roy P. Macal, who led two expeditions to the Republic of the Congo in the 1960s to search for the Congolese monsters. He never found the creature, but he did collect some evidence and eyewitness accounts that supported the existence of the creature. Many cryptozoologists speculate that the Mahamba could be a freshwater remnant of a mosasaur, a type of marine reptile that is believed to have vanished at the end of the Cretaceous period. Other researchers believe that it may be a descendant of prehistoric crocodiles, such as Dinosuchus or Sarcosuchus, both of which were much larger than modern crocodiles. John Reinhardt Werner, a writer and engineer in the service of the Congo Free State, described in his book Stanley's Rear Guard how he was hunting ducks on a sandbank in the 1880s when he saw a monstrous crocodile that was longer than the steamship on which he was traveling. The steamship was almost 13 meters long. The legend of the Mahamba persists to this day, and some tribes of Congo hold their belief that this monster roams the reaches of Lake Likawala. They avoid that part of the lake at all costs. Number 11. Jabafofi, the Giant Spider The Congo jungle is a place of mystery and wonder, home to a variety of fascinating creatures, both known and unknown. One of the most mysterious is a giant spider, the stuff of chilling tales, Jabafofi. These colossal arachnids have been described by local tribes and explorers as having abdomens the size of basketballs and their leg span reaching up to one and a half meter. These giant spiders weave enormous webs between trees, spanning large distances. The strength of their webs is such that they are capable of trapping not only animals but also humans. According to the accounts of locals, these spiders dig a shallow tunnel under tree roots and camouflage it with a large pile of leaves. Then, they create an almost invisible web between their burrow and a nearby tree, stringing the whole area with a network of trip lines. Some oblivious animal, soon to end up on the creature's menu, trip the line, alerting the spider. The victim is then chased into the web. This type of predatory behavior is similar to that of several species of trapdoor spiders. The very first sighting of the Jabba Fofi by a Western observer was in the 1890s near Lake Nyasa, when British missionary Arthur John Symes and his men came upon one of the creatures. His men got themselves tangled in an enormous web, and two giant spiders, measuring almost one meter in length, emerged from their web and attacked them. Symes was bitten but managed to escape after shooting one of them with his pistol. He subsequently developed symptoms including a deathly pallor, severe chills, swelling around the area where he was bitten, and became delirious before dropping into unconsciousness. He ultimately succumbed to these effects and died. Many of the natives described these spiders as once being numerous but now a vanishing species. Encroachment by civilization in the form of rainforests being converted to farming land may have driven the spiders from their natural habitats. Number 10. The Mountain Gorillas 
The creatures of Congo have long captivated the world and the imaginations of travelers and explorers alike. In the mid-19th century, tales spread among travelers about the largest gorillas on Earth, inhabiting the mountainous regions of Congo. By the early 1900s, a German captain became the first person to encounter these extraordinary mountain gorillas, towering up to two meters in height and weighing over 200 kilograms. These rare gorillas quickly became a subject of scientific study. However, their habitat was limited to the treacherous slopes of six volcanoes in the Virunga mountain range. Studying and protecting these rare gorillas became extremely difficult due to the civil war in 1967. Despite the difficulties, American primatologist Diane Fossey courageously decided to continue her research on these primates. She started numerous conservation efforts to safeguard them from poachers. Tragically, Diane Fossey fell victim to poachers in 1985. Yet thanks to her unwavering dedication, the endangered species of mountain gorillas were preserved. Today, they can be found only within Uganda's National Park and the Virunga National Park, with an estimated population of around 1,000 individuals. These parks provide the space where one can embark on the remarkable adventure of observing these endangered mountain gorillas. However, even with these measures, their existence remains under constant threat from poaching. Poachers kill gorillas for their meat, which is considered a delicacy in some parts of Africa. Efforts are required for the survival of this species. Number 9. Historic Artifacts Congo boasts a past civilization with a profound artistic legacy. The Congolese were masters of art, creating magnificent sculptures, masks, and textiles. Congo was packed with ancient artworks that not only captivate with their intricate details and stylized forms, but also serve as gateways to their rich cultural heritage. The most famous Congolese sculptures were the Congo and Kizi statues, Yaka masks, and Kuba Endo P statues. These works of art display a mysterious array of designs and symbols, each representing a distinct story and spiritual connection. Some of the statues were thought to be gateways between angels and humans. However, this extraordinary cultural heritage suffered a painful history of looting. Congo was colonized by Belgium in the late 19th century. Greed and power drove Belgian officials and explorers to loot an extensive collection of Congolese art and artifacts. These historic treasures were acquired through oppression and violence, inflicting a significant loss on the Congolese people. And according to local legends, some of these sculptures, filled with mystical powers, vanished without a trace, evading the grasp of the invaders and never to be found again. However, in recent years, a movement to right these historical wrongs has gained momentum. Belgium announced plans to return some of the looted artworks to Congo in 2021. This significant step toward reconciliation gives the Congolese people hope that they will be able to reclaim their stolen cultural heritage and heal the wounds of the past. Number 8. A Living Dinosaur Millions of years ago, a huge asteroid hit the Earth. The impact was so powerful that it created a dust cloud that darkened the skies for years. This dust cloud blocked out the sun, which caused plants to die. As the plants died, the herbivores died and then the carnivores died. In the end, about 70% of all life on Earth was wiped out. This event, known as the Chicxulub impact, is thought to have been the extinction event that killed the dinosaurs. But what if some dinosaurs survived? Some people believe that the Mokele Mbembe, a legendary creature said to live in the Congo, is one such dinosaur. The Mokele Mbembe is described as being about the size of an elephant, with a long neck, a single tooth, and a muscular tail. It is said to be a herbivore, and its name means the one who stops the flow of rivers. There have been many reports of Mokele Mbembe sightings over the years. One of the most famous encounters with Mokele Mbembe was reported by a German explorer named Gustav Lequent in 1909. Lequint was on an expedition in the Congo when he claimed to have seen a large, long-necked creature swimming in a river. He described the creature as being about the size of an elephant with a long neck and a single tooth. He also said that it had a hump on its back and a tail that was as long as its body. Some believe his account and consider that Mokele Mbembe could be a surviving member of the plant-eating sauropod dinosaurs. Number 7. Monolith 
In November 2020, a mysterious monolith appeared in Utah, capturing the entire world's attention. Soon after, a number of shiny monoliths started popping up at random locations in different countries, such as Germany, India, the United Kingdom, and the Netherlands. This sparked conspiracy theories and drew comparisons to the monoliths depicted in Stanley Kubrick's 1968 film, 2001, A Space Odyssey, as these alien monoliths appear as recurring symbols in the film and are thought to influence human evolution. Then, in February 2021, a 3.5-meter tall metallic structure appeared mysteriously in Kinshasa's Bandel neighborhood, deep in the Congo. Unlike the Europeans, however, the locals viewed this structure with suspicion rather than enthusiasm. Because of the people's strong superstitions, some speculated that the monolith belonged to dark forces. As a result, city officials decided to protect the monolith until a thorough investigation could be conducted. Curiosity about the origins of these structures kept increasing, but all attempts to determine who built them failed. Likewise, no traces of transportation of this structure was found, further adding to the mystery. In a confusing turn of events, the monolith was eventually torched by the mob to unveil its secrets, only to reveal that it was hollow, with metal sheets carefully placed over a frame. Number 6. Cobalt Mining When discussing Congo, it is impossible to ignore the treacherous and dangerous sites where precious minerals are extracted. The Congo is well known for its vast mineral wealth, which includes cobalt, coltan, copper, tin, and even gold. Some of these minerals, such as cobalt, are required for the functioning of the electronic devices we rely on every day. Rechargeable batteries would be rendered useless without cobalt. The vast majority, however, is unaware of the enormous hardship endured so that we can enjoy our modern way of life. A staggering 72% of the world's cobalt production comes from the Congo, a region where people work in inhumane conditions similar to modern-day slavery. Numerous mines operate outside the law, disregarding regulations and failing to provide necessary safety equipment and working conditions. These mines, however, represent a significant opportunity for locals to earn a living and support their families. A miner could earn $20 on a lucky day, a remarkable sum in a country where most people struggle to survive on less than $2 per day. Unfortunately, the pursuit of these valuable minerals comes at a high cost. Miners work in hazardous environments, exposing themselves to serious long-term health risks, including respiratory problems and even death. Children are not immune to this dilemma, too, with tens of thousands being drawn into the mining industry. They are often forced to work long hours in dangerous conditions and are frequently exposed to toxic chemicals. The world's eyes are slowly but steadily opening to the harsh reality that the Congolese face. Hopefully, coordinated efforts will be made to correct this dire situation, ensuring that mining operations follow proper regulations and prioritize the well-being of those involved. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Here you see an enormous creature and several confused individuals. What comes to mind when you see it? Is it a sand serpent or the sandworm from Dune? Or is it some sort of mysterious thing built by humans as a practical joke? Do you know anything about its origins? Let us hear your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Dingonek In the early 20th century, Western explorers braved the African wilderness in search of new discoveries. They unearthed numerous previously unknown plant and animal species, including one creature, unlike anything they had ever seen before. This enigmatic being, the Dingonek, has a long, tusk-like snout of a walrus, the armored shell of an armadillo, the spotted pattern of a leopard, and measures three to five meters in length. The first documented encounter with this extraordinary creature happened in 1907 by a British traveler, big game hunter, trader John Alfred Jordan, and members of his hunting party. Jordan was told about the mysterious creature known as the Dingo Neck, but he dismissed the story as skeptical. However, fate had other plans. While on a hunting expedition, Jordan was summoned to the river by a group of local hunters who claimed that the creature awaited him there. Jordan's fear grew to unimaginable proportions as he gazed upon the beast, prompting him to shoot at its neck with a rifle capable of dispatching elephants. 
The creature sprang out of the water and vanished into the jungle, and Jordan sprinted into the bush in terror. Jordan says that although he searched for the beast along shorelines and bodies of water over several miles for two days after the encounter, he never again encountered the beast or its tracks. Number 4. The Gold Mountain the Democratic Republic of the Congo, home to one of Africa's richest gold fields, recently witnessed an extraordinary discovery. Locals discovered a mountain that appeared to be made of gold. Thousands of villagers flocked to the site, armed with shovels and even their bare hands, digging tirelessly into the earth. They excitedly carried the precious ore home to be filtered through, revealing the shining treasure within. However, the unfortunate reality is that these abundant riches keep evading ordinary people, instead falling into the hands of multinational corporations. And Congo remains one of the world's poorest countries. Following the discovery of the Golden Mountain, authorities dispatched police forces to intervene with the goal of reclaiming all of the gold that the villagers had taken from the mountain. They registered all of the villagers and arrested others to recover every gram of the gold. The authorities confirmed the existence of the gold ore and paused all mining activities until strict adherence to established rules and regulations can be achieved. Unfortunately, the story of gold in Congo is one of tragedy and suffering. The country's northeastern corner, where this gold field is located, has been a breeding ground for conflict and bloodshed. Tragically, instead of bringing prosperity to the people of Congo, gold has become an unyielding curse that inflicts misery upon those unfortunate enough to inhabit its midst. Number 3. Congamato Believing that one or two dinosaur species live deep in the Congolese jungles is one thing, but the idea that a flying dinosaur could have remained hidden for so long without ever being photographed is truly beyond the realm of imagination. Welcome to the Kongamato legend. For centuries, villagers in Congo and Zambia have told stories about this creature. It's described as a massive reptilian-looking bird with leathery wings, no feathers, and a horrifyingly long beak or snout filled with razor-sharp teeth. They've even mentioned a diamond-tipped long tail. The fact that the majority of the alleged attacks on local villagers occur near or on bodies of water, such as rivers or lakes, is the reason why the terrifying being was given the name Kongamato, which translates to breaker of boats in the local language. For us, this may seem like a fantastic cryptic legend, but for them, it seems to be a real-life animal. People have returned to their towns with horrific injuries, saying that the Kongamato swarmed them. So what is this creature? Everything points to one conclusion. We're talking about pterodactyls. These flying dinosaurs perfectly fit the description as we know from fossilized remains that they only ate fish. The fact that most attacks target fishermen or people near water makes perfect sense. The first encounter with this creature occurred in 1932, according to American zoologist Ivan Sanderson. He was attacked by a toothed monster, but he escaped by jumping into a river and firing his revolver at the creature. The flying creature, on the other hand, was unaffected by the bullets and simply flew away, terrified. Number 2. Cave of Agonizing Death Out of the many explorers that dared to wander the Congo in the early 20th century, one stands out. Attilio Gatti, an Italian filmmaker and explorer, had a deep interest in African culture. His extensive travels in Africa led him to study Congo's natural environment, and become deeply immersed in the rich culture of its indigenous people. Gatti's career in Africa was marked by notable accomplishments, such as an extensive collection of photographs, a film, and numerous books about the country. During his explorations, local Africans told Gatti stories about certain caves that were thought to be extremely dangerous due to local folklore. These caves were thought to be inhabited by malevolent spirits who would take the lives of those who dared to enter. Gatti was intrigued by these stories and set out into uncharted territory, determined to discover the secrets of the infamous Kawena Cave. In the native language, Kawena meant the Cave of Agonizing Death, a pit historically utilized by local sorcerers and witch doctors to condemn their adversaries. Gatti believed that facing this cave and emerging victorious was the ultimate test of his daring spirit. Gatti gathered a crew and set out on his quest with firm determination. As he approached the cave, 
he was struck by a foul odor emanating from its depths. The darkness obscured everything beyond the entrance, leaving him with no choice but to lower himself into the abyss, where he was met by two terrifying sights, the skeletal remains of several humans and a swarm of rapidly approaching cobras. Fearing for his life and unable to escape, he fired his revolver, scattering the snakes to the bones and rubble, and desperately attempted to climb back to the open air. He gathered loose stones and created a makeshift platform, managing to scramble to the summit. He used all of his strength to pull himself up, gripping the rope tightly. The next few minutes were a blur of terror for the exhausted explorer. Inch by agonizing inch, he climbed, tearing the skin from his fingers and almost pulling his arms from their sockets. He finally climbed out of the cave, aching and exhausted, and resolved never to put the Congolese people's stories to the test again. Number 1. Deadliest Diseases Deep in the heart of the Congo jungle, a place filled with magnificent creatures and breathtaking scenery, there are hidden dangers. This lush tropical environment, while enchanting, serves as an ideal breeding ground for an array of dangerous diseases, casting a formidable shadow of risk upon both daring tourists and dedicated researchers who venture into its depths. Among these dangers, one disease stands out as particularly infamous, Ebola. Since its emergence in the 1970s, this devastating disease has caused enormous suffering, with symptoms including fever, hemorrhaging, and dire consequences. Recent outbreaks as recent as 2021 serve as haunting reminders of its persistent threat. The virus, which is spread through bodily fluids, poses a serious risk to people who work with infected patients or handle animal remains. Malaria is another major health concern that occurs with alarming frequency in the Congo. The dangers posed by these dreadful diseases are exacerbated by the region's remote and unforgiving terrain, which creates formidable barriers to critical medical care and transportation to treatment facilities. Furthermore, the presence of armed conflicts exacerbates the difficulties in combating disease outbreaks, creating a complex and dangerous environment for healthcare professionals and researchers alike. Despite the dangers posed by these deadly pathogens, dedicated researchers and healthcare professionals are unwavering in their pursuit of effective treatments and preventive measures. Multifaceted efforts are underway to mitigate the hazards associated with these afflictions and improve the well-being of those inhabiting and traversing the Congo jungle ranging from the genetic exploration of the Ebola virus to the development of novel malaria vaccines. By pushing the boundaries of scientific understanding and collaborating across disciplines, they strive to unlock the secrets of these diseases and protect the vulnerable populations that call this remarkable region home. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.